January 3 separation. Worthy is the Lamb who was slain to receive power and riches and wisdom and strength and honor and glory and blessing. Revelation chapter 5 verse 12, New King James Version. I entered the supermarket with my children. This is going to be quick, guys. We have 15 minutes. I sent my son and daughter down the aisle to get snacks. Two aisles later, they met up with me. They trailed behind as I quickly moved up one aisle and down the next. The children kept up. Or so I thought. Moving into the next aisle, I thought that my son was right behind me. When I realized that he wasn't, I told my daughter to look for him. She came back empty-handed. I thought, keep moving, he'll catch up with us. I arrive at the checkout line, still no sign. I told my daughter to wait with the shopping cart while I went to look for him. Up and down each aisle I went. As I came back up the aisle, I heard over the store's loudspeaker, Would Donna please come to the front? Your child is waiting for you. When I reached the front of the store, there stood my son with the floor manager whom I know. Guyan stood there crying and holding two bags of popcorn. He had been right behind me until he stopped to get the popcorn without telling me. Then, he went bravely to the front of the store to tell the manager his mommy's name. As you can imagine, he was very upset about being separated from his mother. What four-year-old child wouldn't be? Of course. What was only a few minutes of confusion to us seemed like a lifetime for my son. As I went through this experience, I thought about what God went through. He endured separation as well. He was separated from his son when he sent him to earth to be born as our Savior. Then, God the Father was again separated from his son when his only begotten gave his life for us. The son experienced the pain as well. Ellen White wrote, He who had been one with God felt in his soul the awful separation that sin makes between God and man. There is a happy ending. Our physical separation from God will soon end. He is coming back for us to be with Him forever. No more tears of pain, but rather of joy. I can't wait. Dana M. Bassett Bean